Well, it's now the 9th of November 2007 and as part of our journey in um, Munich we have arrived, well as you can see, at Dachau. Dachau, of course, is one of the early concentration camps set up by Heinrich Himmler and we've come here today to shoot a little documentary on Dachau to remember the thousands of people that went through its infamous gates. It's rather a bleak station, uh, James can pan round and one can think of all the thousands of political prisoners that must have arrived here each day to be left standing here probably in the cold sweet light day that it is today. Later they would be taken out of their civilian clothes and put into a very thin uniform rather like a pair of striped pajamas. A forsaken sort of place uh, but later on we will go to the camp and we will look there. We hope to preach there and say a few words from the Holy Bible, but until then, This is the symbolic wall in the centre of this notorious camp and rather than pan along it says may the example of those who were exterminated here between 1933 to 45 because they resisted Nazism help to unite the living for the defence of peace and freedom and respect for their fellow men. This is the parade ground that we're standing in here, prisoners stood here for a couple of hours every morning and every night for roll call. Even the dead were dragged out, it tells me, over there. This infamous spot where many thousands were brought here into this parade ground. And as we pan away, we can see the heavy leaden gray skies telling us that this is Dachau concentration camp. This is the wall which symbolizes those who fell there. Talk later. desk that we're looking at here made by the prisoners and as you see we've left one of our bible tracks here as we leave them wherever we go at least 70 years on this desk these are some of the people who are brought here the film afterwards Here we see a picture of James Compan down. It says that this was painted by this man, David Ludwig Block, in 1940. It's a stunning picture taken at night, of course. I'm particularly interested in the Masonic symbol above. Can you see that there? 
very, very interesting, but here you can see the thousands and thousands and thousands of political prisoners, and it's dated 1938, in fact, November 38. So we're just coming up to the 70th anniversary of it. But if we pan over here, we can see one of the many prisoners brought to Dachau. You are no longer a man, you no longer have a name, you have a number. The star denotes what sort of prisoner he is, whether he's a homosexual or political or so far. Well, this is very symbolic here. We see one of the prisoners brought here. It seems that this is the parish priest uh, who was brought here. So the Nazis were no respect of whoever was brought here, whatever religion, creed, race, or whatever. And he was, his name was Franz Holm from Ried in Austria, brought to Dachau. This is the old parish, sorry, the old prison baths here. It's actually being renovated at the moment, but they've taken, you can see the original floors. The thousands would have been brought in here. But the prisoners were brought here to be dehumanized by having their head shaved. And just behind me, you can see some of the implements that were used. And if James can pan down, it says, it tells us a bit about where they were disinfected and showered. These are some of the original implements for this very cool act. Always music for the Nazis. The Camp Soul, solidarity, self-assertion and resistance. Looks quite a cheerful little tune. But I'm sure the people who sing it were not cheerful at all. This photograph reminds me that the prison baths with the beams for the pole hanging was an inspection at the camp by uh, Edward Milch. Now if you pan back along here, you can see where he is walking. It is exactly the same. But probably in the centre there were certain poles or hooks for public hangings. This would be a warning against the others here who stepped out of line. They all look very well fed to me, and very grim. see some of them here. Here's a family in happier days and here they are in Auschwitz. And very sadly down here you can see a death mask made of a fellow prisoner. See how gaunt his face is. See how high the cheekbones are. This poor man must have suffered greatly. Just over here from this photograph you can see the layer as it was in 1940. And if the camera can go slightly over to the right you can see the shower hoses which were along here and all this hot water attachment as well. We're also reminded that there were many suicides within this camp. Many people just couldn't take the, the horror and pain of it all. This reminds us of course that Polish prisoners didn't all go to Auschwitz. Polish prisoners were brought to Dachau and here we see some photographs of those prisoners. Most of these uh, Eastern Europe prisoners had a very, very hard time here, deprived of rations and so forth, but they didn't all go to Auschwitz. Jewish prisoners here. The staple diet probably of this place with the political prisoners. Here we have the family there, and here we have the mug shots. Notice the implement they used in the back of the head to keep the head straight. Can you see it? star compulsory for all Jews made the exclusion visible for all and the, the right church the Jewish star was introduced in September 1941. 
many Polish prisoners were brought here. Of course, as they were in Sachsenhausen, where we were last year, we can see the murder of Soviet prisoners of war. And this seems to be the spot that they were taken to. And it tells me here the stakes were placed there and they were executed. Or should I say murdered? Okay, well here we see the clergy who were brought here to this infamous camp and we can see a priest here by the name of Stefan Franachowski and somebody has done a drawing of him here on his deathbed, 1945. See how the face has shrunk and what it was there. Bishops were even brought here as well. There's certainly no respect of authority. What's going on up there? Okay. Looks like there might be a mass being said here. Surely not, but it looks like a mass is being celebrated here. Yeah. You can see the, the con I can't read it to say a provisional chapel set. Where the priests were able to celebrate Mass. You can see them, the convicts there with the striped jackets on. What we have here is a picture of evolution at its absolute worst. Last November we went to Sachsenhausen, an equally evil concentration camp where many, many, many people died, not just opposers of the Nazis, but people with religious and political persuasions which didn't suit the ideologies of Hitler's fascist party. But today we are in Dachau, 2007. This is what happens when men depart from God when they become Darwinists. Indeed Hitler was a Darwinist. Yes, he was a Catholic by baptism and uh, the Catholic Church never excommunicated him, but I believe in his heart he was a Darwinist through and through. And any Darwinist could massacre 12 million people. There were insufficient beds to go around. They were packed tight together. Prisoners were sleeping head to foot. I find this rather strange that money has been thrown in. It reminds me of the Trevi Fountain in Rome where people throw money and make a wish. One wonders what wish the people who threw this money in were making. Was it for repentance? <laughs> the prisoner's living space behind me, you can see the single tables. The prisoners would have had perhaps one solitary meal. Sadly, you can see the lockers just behind and above the lockers you will see the short, tiny stools in which they sat upon. This is a desolate place where men would have come at the end of a hard working day to have a short meal. And I like to think perhaps they came to pray. And perhaps one of the prayers would be, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Even in this awful place, 
repentance was needed. Men still needed to pray. To pray that many of these men were born again. Many of these men knelt before their Saviour. And through that repentance, they journeyed to heaven. This is Dachau in November 2007, where many lonely, desperate men are praying. <laughs> in Dachau. A bell chimes in the distance, calling many to repent. The last stroke of twelve. A bell chimes in Dachau this November day. He came to Germany from England to leave some Bible tracks to bring the word of God. And it's appropriate to one of our Bible tracks. who came to that gal. Just wanted to share that with you. Thank you. Such a sad place. So many people, so many memories must have come through here. I suppose to the cynic they will say, was Christ here that day at Dachau? Did God turn away or did he look down and approve what had happened? I don't think so. Christ was here on those days and those terrible years at Dachau concentration camp. As always, he calls on all men to repent. And as I look at that tower, that watchtower, I see a tower one day that will judge all of us. This has been a brief souvenir from ex catholics for Christ. This is this day by my son James and myself. A brief memory of when we came to Dachau concentration camp. The tower stands as a memorial to the fascists who ruled this place. But one day a tower will stand that will come with the image of God because Christ is coming back and he will come back and he will rule and he will reign.